Hello crafty people, Annette here today with a colourful layout using Happy Blooms collection from Pinkfish Studio and I also use some watercolours. You know I love watercolour, it is my favourite medium. I'm working now on watercolour paper this time as I want the paint flow and mix a little bit. I am measuring the size of a regular letter size paper on the watercolour paper block. This time I make a letter size layout. I'm using my Gansai Tambi watercolours and I am mixing similar colours to the collection. I want some soft pinks and some warm yellows, maybe with some gold accents. But this got too brownish, so I use only the yellow and maybe I add some gold splatters later. It is always helpful to have color swatches close to compare the colors. Now I am mixing a purple shade. I have leftover paint in my palette and I most of the time I use this paint. I just add some water and they are ready for painting. I also want to create this lovely mint blue. I really love this color and it goes well with the others. Now let's create the background. I simply draw uneven lines with a big brush. First I tried with this wide fan brush, but it simply doesn't uh, hold enough water. So I switched to the big flat brush and it works much better. I use a big amount of water and paint because at some point I want the lines to touch each other. Here the colors can flow and uh, mix creating wonderful textures. This is the most fun part. Be bold and don't overwork it. Just hold your brush loose and create the strokes. The more texture it has, the more better. Don't make it perfect or even, as a variety creates interest. Paint the lines so they meet at some point, where the colors can mix. Choose your colors carefully next to each other, as they will mix and maybe they create an unwanted color. Here the purple and the yellow created some muddy brown, but I soaked it up using some water towel and I want to add gold anyway and um, that looks a little bit brownish too, so I wasn't worried at all. I had some splatters with my fan brush and some gold to the yellow lines at the bottom. After air drying, it looks gorgeous. I love the areas where the colors mix a bit. I have to try not to cover them. I cut my background to the right size and I'm starting to build up my page. I made some tissue paper layers under my photo. This is my son, two years old. He loved and loves flowers so much. He was mesmerized by these bright pink tulips. Once he said, Mummy, my head turns to the flowers all the time. Maybe this is why he's okay with it that I use many flowers on the layouts with his photos. But not too much pink, he says all the time. Well, here is some pink as well, but he likes this layout anyway. I am using embellishments tone on tone, of course, not every piece, but I try. This is a great method not to create a huge mess and a too busy layout that is full of colors. Tone on tone is one of my favorite techniques. These puffy stickers are so cute. I always use some liquid glue with them as they don't stick well to the watercolor paper. I am trying not to embellish too much as my plan is to add some marks to the watercolor lines to create even more texture on the layout. Don't be afraid to fussy cut the ephemera or the stickers if you want. Use the product as you wish, be creative. Now I am making some marks on the watercolor lines. Here I add some white marks on the pink. You can barely see them, but they are there. 
to the yellow strokes, I draw some gold plus signs, but not all over the line, just uh, more on the endings. On the purple, I add some black dots and I'm giving it even more depth through this. Gold circles on the yellow and some uh, dots on the mint. That's it, I'm ready. I love the colors and the water coloring together with the cute embellishments from the Happy Blooms collection. I hope you like this idea and you will create a colorful watercolor background, something like this. I would love to see your layouts. All products are listed below. Thank you so much for watching this video and also for your comments. See you next time too. Bye bye.